Look, I'm telling you, there's something moving and it ain't us. Get out of the goddamn door! Hi and welcome to Greedy 3D. Today is going to be an alien day. We're going to be making an alien on the Elegant Mars 2 to add to my alien collection here. So stay tuned and I'll show you which one we're making and we'll go through the whole process. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so we've gone across to my mini factory and we found the alien xenomorph full figure to download and there it is. I think you'll agree it is a really lovely print. Uh, some quite amazing detail in that. So I'm going to be downloading this file and we're going to be printing this today on the resin Elegoo Mars 2 Mono uh, which will, I have no doubt, be able to deal with the detail of this model. Um, so let's download it, move it across to Chitterbox and uh, slice it up. Chitterbox is opened and we're going to find the file on our computer which we know where it is. It's on desktop and there it is. Let's load it in. Now the first thing you see when we put that in is that it's a really big file and the red here in Chitu box means it's really not going to fit on the build plate of the Elegoo Mars 2. But if you look down here, there is a little option that says scale to fit size. So we're gonna give that a click and voila, it puts it to the size that will actually fit on the build plate. Now the orientation that it's chosen on here is perfect. It's just what we wanna do. So we're gonna go across to the support setting and now I'm going to select all supports. I'm in medium. I've got a raft ready and I'm going to select all supports. And there we go. So now what Chitterbox has done is it supported the model automatically. But what I am going to do is just have a little look through it just to make sure that all the main areas that need support are supported. For example, there's a couple of areas that, that I think maybe could just do with a, a support or two. For example, one there, maybe one there, just to give it a little bit of added support to the structure of it. Now the rest of it doesn't look too bad, so I am going to go ahead now and slice this up. There we go, beautiful. So let's go back to that setting, slice it up. This on average is one one point three seven dollars. Well, just over one, just over a pound to print that in the resin. So um, we are going to save that now to the computer, and we're going to move that across onto our Elegoo Mars and print it. And fourteen hours later, there we go. One resin printed alien seems to have come out okay you can never really tell till you've got the supports off so the next stage will be to take it off to wash it in some a nice warm soapy water get those supports off then we'll come back to it and have a look so there's the alien printed there's my Elegoo Mars 2 Pro this little thing I printed as well to help drain the plate haven't needed to use it this morning as I've uh, left it running overnight and it's drained itself so uh, let's come back to it once it's off the build plate so we've taken it out of the resin I've just ran a 30 second tank clean with the support sticking in the corner and now I should be able to just give that a gentle pull it's a little tip for you today just to clean out any residue from the bottom of the vat and look at that it's a great way to clean your tank in between prints. So there we have the xenomorph on the curing table, just using the ultraviolet lamp and a little solar powered turntable. I'm going to be leaving it on here for about five minutes just to make sure that the whole thing is cured thoroughly. And uh, then we'll come back and have a look at the final reveal. Here we go all finished. What I've done is I've just used uh, quite a broad brush to paint some silver highlights across him. As you can see there it just highlights some of the uh, more uh, finer details on the alien and also on the top of his skull I've used just some clear resin just to um, kind of bring out if you like the reflectiveness of the head and uh, look at the detail in that. That really is amazing isn't it? The 
you, you'd have so much trouble printing this in one piece on an FDM printer with this kind of detail. And this is where the resin printers come into their own. I've took some stills of it just really as close as I could to show you the detail. And um, it, it, it's incredible, isn't it? I'm new to resin printing. I've only had it for two weeks, but I am absolutely amazed at the quality you can get uh, on this Elegoo Mars 2 Mono. With just a little bit of uh, YouTube research, a little bit of patience, some black water washable resin. Incredible. And there it is, proudly on display next to all my other alien items. Um, it's a great, great addition. So I really hope you've enjoyed today and uh, enjoyed the process of making this alien from the Aliens franchise. Uh, I think you'll agree the quality is incredible. Resin printers are definitely the way forward. I've said this before. There's still a place for FDM, but resin for the smaller things with the finer detail is, uh, is definitely the right move. So tune in next time for another project. Don't know if it's going to be big. Don't know if it's going to be small. Will it be res? Will it be FDM? Who knows? But join in next time on Greedy 3D. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>